Britain's love affair for Indian curries and cuisine is strengthening and how? Well, fighting off the hot competition, Leicester has been crowned as a curry capital of England for 2024, home to a thriving Indian diaspora population and exceptional South Asian culinary offerings. This prestigious title to Leicester, the Leicester city in UK, also underscores the pivotal role the Indian diaspora is playing in promoting and preserving the country's rich culinary heritage. Take a look at this report. If you are in Britain, especially if you're in England, and if you happen to mention either of these two words, curry or cricket, there's a good chance that you will have heads turned towards you. India's many soft powers continue to play a crucial role in bilateral relations with nations world over. With Britain, the ties are extraordinary given its history. We take you through a tour to, to see the performance of curries, Indian curries such as chicken tikka masala, vindaloo, madras korma and their role in teasing the British palate. Yeah. Fire and explosive with rich flavours, the Indian curry is a celebrated star across Britain. For the first time, Leicester, the bustling city with over 100 restaurants Indian in just one street, famously called the Golden Mile, has now been granted the title Curry Capital of England. From gold shops to sherwanis to saris, Leicester, home to the largest Indian population, has everything you need. But locals say no curry means no Leicester. We always feel, felt that we, uh, we are one of the best cities in the country, not just for curry, but as, a, as, a, as the most cosmopolitan sort of city in Europe. You know, I, I always say Leicester is sort of the, um, the poster city for multiculturalism in the world. And um, multiculturalism is best defined by what people eat. And in Leicester, we have such a diverse community, which means such a diverse um, variety of restaurants from all corners of the world. But Leicester is predominantly and mostly known for its South Asian or subcontinent, Indian subcontinent population. I'm Bangladeshi, but we have great uh, cross-section of uh, Pakistanis, Indians, Nep Nepalese. Uh, recently, a lot more South Asian people have moved in, giving more of a choice for food. There are more than 80,000 employees working in the curry industry in Britain, which is contributing an estimated 4 billion each year to the economy. From curry houses, many are now being recognized as restaurants, given there are over 12,000 across the country. The industry has a mix of Indian, Bangladeshi and Pakistani restaurateurs. chicken tikka masala, butter chicken, and that's for non-veg and the paneer, and of course, and uh, vindaloos and jalfrezi. That's what we call ours, the British people who are really known for. But not in these days, we got so many dishes. We got coming from Nepal or from African background. So we have a chicken machusi now. We have a desi chicken curry coming from Punjab, home style cooked. So, so many varieties and so many spice we have, and over the year that spice level and spice culture is grown. I love curry. Um... I've, I, I wasn't introduced to curry as a kid, uh, as a child my parents ate very much basic bland English food um, but when I left home at 18 and joined the military I started to um, get introduced to world foods and certainly curry became uh, one of my favourites. Curry is an English word originally derived from the Tamil word curry, meaning a sauce or one you relish with rice or roti. The term was borrowed by East India Company, which in the 17th century traded with Tamil merchants in the Coromandel coast. Radhika Iyer in Leicester, NDTV.